first tonight, for more than three decades, a Maine cartoonist has been bringing a spirited and rebellious sixth grade character to life through his comic strip and series of chapter books, Big Nate. Now that series is heading to television. 207's Beth McAvoy has the story. Maine cartoonist Lincoln Purse has been conjuring up pranks, hijinks, and misadventures for his beloved characters in Big Nate for more than 30 years. Big Nate books have sold all over the world in 33 different languages. It's fair to say Purse has tapped into an undeniably relatable character. It captures kids, hopefully, because they look at him and they think that he's authentic. Starting later this month, there's a new chapter for Big Nate, an animated cartoon. Over the years, we sort of had a lot of sort of possibilities and false starts, you know, with offers to maybe do a movie or a TV show and finally got together with Nickelodeon. It was really a dream come true because they are the gold standard, you know, for for TV animation, for kids programming. And I just I couldn't be happier. I'm really excited. Brad Gunter was the first kid at PS 38 to get five detentions in one week. After that, Brad Gunter disappeared. Fans of the comic strip and books will notice some differences to the sixth grader. Right away, they'll notice that he's in 3D. <laughs> Obviously, I draw him in two dimensions. He looks a certain way. And there are sort of aspects about the way he looks in two dimensions. And I thought, how are they going to render that in three dimensions? I mean, I was thinking specifically about his hair because <laughs> his hair is so strange. When I first saw the character designs for Nate and, and some of the other principal characters, I thought they nailed it. Big Nate is still how Purse has always intended him, incompetent, spirited, and occasionally getting into trouble. They send me the scripts as the scripts are developing, and then I kind of make suggestions or tweaks. I didn't know what it would feel like to sort of tinker with someone else's script, but it's fun. They put something out there and, and then they hand it to me and they say, see if you can add a few jokes or see if there are any lines that you think you can, you know, make the character sound more like they do inside your head. While creators are drawing from the blueprint Purse has laid out over the years, they're also adding new storylines and characters. In the pilot episode, there is, you know, a character voiced by Jack Black, who is an invention of the show. He's not a character that has ever been in the comic strip, but he fits, he fits right in perfectly. Several talented actors are involved in the new series, including comedian and actor Rob Delaney. Nickelodeon said, well, Rob Delaney essentially called us and said he wants to be involved because one of his kids is a huge Big Nate fan. And so, so here we were kind of with this, you know, kind of jackpot moment where, wow, you know, Rob Delaney is calling and saying he wants to work with us. Middle school PS38 is at the center of the Big Nate world on the screen as in the comic strip. But at the urging of Nickelodeon, Purse pinned down a place. And over the years, people have asked, where does Nate live? And in my mind, he sort of lived in Maine, but I was never specific about it. And one of the things that Nickelodeon said, we really want there to be a sense of place, you know, we really want him to live in Maine. And I had referenced in the strip a couple of times just because it's the street where I live on, Rackliffe Street in Portland. And I just used the word Rackliffe. I just tossed it out there. Nickelodeon said, we like that name. Let's use that as the name of the town. So, <laughs> yeah. Nickelodeon animators even researched trees, homes, and buildings in Maine to give the show an authentic New England feel. It's cool. The school looks like a lot of sort of old Maine schools, you know, that were built around you know, the early 1900s, that sort of thing. Schools have always been a well of humor to Purse, who used to be a teacher. Schools are really funny places where a lot, a lot of things happen. What were you like in sixth grade? It must have been a powerful year in your life. Were you similar to Big Nate? <laughs> uh, well, Nate has a much more interesting and eventful life than I did, there's no doubt. I was more or less a pretty well-behaved pretty boring kid. The kids who are always getting into trouble, they did seem to have like pretty interesting lives. They always looked like they were having a little bit more fun than the rest of us. And so I think there might be a little bit of envy in me for, 
for the kind of kid that Nate is. After working solo for so long, the new animated series has brought together a new company of creators. It has really been delightful because I really, really like the people that I'm working with on the show. The Big Nate Show starts streaming next Thursday on Paramount+. Plus.